on this episode of Building the X Set, we're finally putting the frame on the roller skate. Got everything prepped up, I got my floors installed, got the engine all ready, all the accessories and parts I needed to put on ready to go. I got the firewalls installed, I got the pedals and the master cylinders installed, and it's time to get this thing on the frame, so let's get to it. Basically what I rigged up here is uh, I wiped the whole frame down, got all cleaned off, uh, Use some compressed air to blow off and wipe down the roller skate uh, from all the, the dust from fabrication stuff I've had to do in here. Uh, uh, just with the, the firewalls and stuff didn't fit exactly right. So um, basically got everything cleaned up, ready to go. Got a couple Harbor Freight straps here to my uh, Harbor Freight shop crane. Um, and basically ready just to lift the body up as high as I can. And uh, what I'm going to do is lift it up, adjust it so the front's a little higher than the rear. And then once it's in the air, I'm going to work on rolling the roller skate over underneath it. And uh, as you can see, the roller skate, all four, four wheels are on uh, little carts, so I can push that easily throughout the garage. So uh, basically just going to do a quick fast-forward video showing you guys me lifting it up, getting it mounted on the frame, and then get into all the uh, mounting points of the frame. So Now the frame is pretty much sitting on the car now. Uh, one thing, and I've just done this on the front, there's two bolts here, one bolt here, one bolt under here. And that goes in through the floor pans up here. Now you want to put all these bolts in loose. You do not want to tighten anything down because you got to remember there's four each side in the front and four in the back total. So that's 12 different alignment points that have to meet up. As you can see here, this one's going to be a little bit off. But anyways, I got the four bolts and nuts and washers on in the front. Uh, the rear bolts I'm about to put in, but they had some surface rust on them. So they right now are over here in my... Uh, black oxide bath, uh, been in there for a while, they're probably almost done. Then I'm going to come back to the rear here, and basically I have to line up these holes with these spots here. And there's two on each side. Then once that's done, uh, basically just going through and torquing them all down, and checking for fitment, and uh, should be ready to pull the, uh, at that point, pull the crane out. I do have to still put in my um, my uh, shock spacers here. I got to look up that how to how what angle those go in just so I know um, as I don't want to uh, have too tight of a gap here and get it all bolted down before I um, before I put those on in the front. In the rears here, it looks like there's plenty of room to clear for those shock spacers here, but in the front. Let me see where I put those things. Oh, right here. 
I just need to make sure that I can get these over that shock first and in there before I uh, before I bolt anything down. So now uh, the rear four bolts here are installed and just ratchet tight. Everything lined up okay. Um, as everything it seems so far on this kit, there was some fabrication that work that has to be done. Um, this here does not clear this socket cap screw. So I had to grind away a little bit of it. It's always nice to have to do that when you have something that's freshly powder coated. So unfortunately when I get when I pull the frame off to um, to have the frame powder coated after I have the car completely built, uh, I'm gonna have to grind this out some more and then uh, touch up the powder coat here uh, so that it'll clear this this little cap head screw there. I don't know if you can see that in the lighting. But anyways, now everything is semi-tight. So everything lines up. Uh, there's, like I said, four bolts on each side of the front and then four total bolts in the rear, two on each side. Now I'm going to one by one remove each bolt and uh, basically put some uh, blue Loctite on everything and then torque down to about 90, 100 foot pounds. Okay, so now we got all the uh, bolts tightened, the frame bolts tightened and torqued down. Uh, I actually didn't add the blue Loctite because I forgot that um, I'm going to be pulling the thing apart. So I uh, just need it tight enough to do some test drives and get everything running. So anyways, uh, all 12 bolts torqued down to uh, 90, 95 foot pounds and uh, ready to get on to doing some more brake lines and fuel lines.